I finally got it up on the wall. That heavy beast, 100 pounds. Um, they did not make it easy to do. Um, usually they'll have like frames that you can mount <clears throat> on a wall first and then just pick those up and hang them. These, this particular model, as you can see, they put, <laughs> I don't even know if I can get the camera to see it. Yeah, I can. They put the frame just like that and you have to put a bolt through and then just drop the, the inverter down on it. Now, the way I did it was I took this board, mounted it on the wall to where I was gonna have it. And then if you can see, I put stud marks, stud lines all the way down it. Um, once I had it, because they had this part of the wall was what didn't have this board stuff on it. So luckily I was able to definitely identify the stud, which you can see right there and there. And mounted the board up on it, pulled a stud line right down it with a sharpie all the way the full length of the of the board and down through took the board off the wall laid it out here in the garage floor and then took the inverter and put it on it um, just long enough to to get the exact markings of where the screws were going to go in fact i went ahead and screwed it down to it as if it was going to be mounted there so that I could get the all four bolts carrying pressure. I laid it down, screwed it down all along them lines. Um, now, as you can see, this one doesn't hit a stud. The thing is 23 inches and it's 16 on center, of course, so I took up three. Um, I went three studs deep, in fact, a little bit more than that. Um, not that it matters. Uh, as you can see this is the last stud um, and then I went a couple inches over um, but that's okay that's what I wanted to do I had more board a lot of this stuff that I'll hang over like on this top this end corner here I'll have some things but they're not gonna be heavy or weight bearing type things so it isn't gonna matter um, and this is thick this is it's got to be three quarter well, half inch half inch birch um so it's up there it is definitely not going anywhere uh anyway after getting that board laid down and getting the, the uh the inverter mounted to it i then took the inverter back off of it and rehung it and you know everything's level and completely level in fact um leveled that off Put the screws three quarters of the way in most of the way in so that it would hold the weight and then me and and sarah and nero the oldest um came and we just picked it up and lined it up and hoisted it up there and put it up there and there she is so they didn't make it real easy for one person to do it for sure uh simply because they they could have if they had put a frame that you could a template frame that you could mount first and then just have one or two guys hoist it up there and hang it and be done with it. But, uh, they didn't do it. Um, but it's up there, up there and operational. And now I have space on my bench. The bench even fit long ways through there so that I didn't have to block the entrance way to come to the, uh, the uh, inverter and all of the, the stuff that I may need to get to the panel box, the, the breaker box there. Um, so everything worked out really well. The unit is, is awesome as usual. Um, and in a day or so, or when the, the next clear day comes, I will, uh, do a little bit of powering up and testing it for you. Have a good one.